In a previous short video, I explored the interaction between dry ice and liquid nitrogen in a variety of ways. I thought I'd make a slightly longer video so I could show you some additional observations I made and to discuss the results in a bit more detail. We first need to recognize that dry ice or solid carbon dioxide goes directly from a solid to a gas at temperatures above negative 78 degrees Celsius. This process is known as sublimation. On the flip side, if carbon dioxide gas is cooled to below negative 78 degrees Celsius, it transitions back to a solid. This is called deposition. So these chunks of dry ice are undergoing sublimation and giving off a lot of carbon dioxide gas. When the gas subliming off the solid dry ice is cooled by holding it over some liquid nitrogen, it undergoes deposition and forms a bunch of tiny dry ice particles that we see as a cloud. But I really want to show you what happens when I submerge a piece of dry ice under liquid nitrogen and leave it there. First, we notice a thick cloud is vigorously produced. This is probably due to the deposition of carbon dioxide into tiny dry ice cloud particles like I just talked about. But notice over time, the cloud begins to dissipate. This is because the chunk of dry ice gets so cold in the liquid nitrogen that it no longer sublimes. And with no carbon dioxide gas being given off, there's nothing that can form the tiny dry ice cloud particles. The mist you see at this point is probably due to condensation from water vapor in the air. Hey, what kind of things do you see in these experiments? Be sure to let me know your observations in the comments.